Hello. Yes, it is me. Lenny Henry. I've been uh, working on Phineas and Ferb and I've been playing Iggy or Karimu, the tour guide, when they go to Africa in an unnamed place. But they all speak Swahili, so I probably guess it's Kenya or something like that. They call it Hajulikani Wadi. That's beautiful. What's it mean? Uncharted Gorge. Wow, they really nailed that name. In order to get down there, you would need a highly unconventional vehicle. The thing about being in a cartoon is it's incredibly slimming. So um, I'm really glad that Iggy's <laughs> in very good shape indeed. I'm going to have to go to the gym. Your father's right. Now, come on, the giraffe is waiting outside. I get you. Phineas and Ferb has a very deceptive sense of humour. It's quite anarchic, and I really, really like that, particularly for kids. When I was a kid, I liked the things that were a bit naughty. Yes, Ferb, best use of our allowance ever. I think Phineas and Ferb is popular because people have triangular heads, and I think they get to do stuff, they get to build stuff that all kids want to do. And um, I think the fact that Phineas and Ferb get to make something and it actually looks like a super difficult maze, I think that's ingenious. And I think every kid watch that and go, I want to make one of those! Here it is, the Football X7 Stadium, complete with omnidirectional hover goals and an observation deck slash high tea room. Wow. I think cartoons are popular all over the world with many different cultures and, and things because in cartoons the characters can do things like slide under a door, they can smash into a wall and nothing hurts them. They can fall from a high building and it doesn't hurt. They can eat ridiculous amounts of food, it doesn't, they don't get fat. Um, I think cartoons are the ultimate fantasy. <laughs> I love that.